Well, as I've, <clears throat> as I've told you all before, when I get my incremental bills passed, I'll be interested in doing something symbolic. But as long as I've got breath and as long as I can do something that matters, <laughs> that might save a child's life, that's what I'm interested in doing. While I disagree that SCOTUS decisions are the supreme law of the land as per Article 6 of the U.S. Constitution, and while I believe fundamentally that God's law is higher than man's law, and while I believe that the Declaration of Independence and the 5th, 14th, 9th, and 10th Amendments provide sufficient legal basis for the sovereign state of South Carolina to uphold the creator-endowed unalienable right to life and outlaw child murder by abortion, I perceive that the chairman shares neither my biblical view nor my constitutionalist slash originalist philosophy of law. That's not true. The chairman does share your biblical view. However, the chairman wants to be effective in this issue. And you don't care whether you're effective or not. You're about symbolism. I'm about being faithful to the Lord's commandments to, to represent him. So am I. And my task is to be effective. I'm not called to success or, or effectiveness, I'm called to faithfulness and obedience. So am I. Okay? It was time for that bill in 2005. It's not time for this bill now. Right. It's now time for the incremental bills, like 24-hour period, like born-alive bills. I have a different view on 